Hello students and welcome to the scratch coding example. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how you can make a simple high scored leaderboard that you can show off and show your friends at the end of each game. So let's get started. All right, so to kind of demonstrate, I, I have a bit of a game here. And what we do is you just got to click the heart, you know, click it, get a high score. It's going to go for eight seconds. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good at this game. There, look at me go. All right, and that's it. The game's over. So you can see the timer hit eight. Um, my score was 11. But what if I want to see out of all my friends, who is the best one? Let's keep challenging ourselves and let's build a simple leaderboard. And as I look across YouTube, all of the videos that are there are showing you how to make this really extravagant high score leaderboard, something with global rankings and stuff. No, what we're going to focus on is just making something simple. So to get this specific game, the starter code is going to be posted in the comments below so you can follow along if you want to. So here I am in the game. Let's, let's zoom in a little bit here. All right. Well, I want to create a leaderboard and you can see we've got the code here to make it to make it work you can kind of see we set the size to 100 to begin got my timer my score and then i say okay let's start the timer let's start the movement of the sprite and until the timer reaches eight there's a timer right there just goes until it hits eight and there's the random position right here just goes until randomly but the you can see that the size changes between negative 50 and positive 50 and over eight seconds it doesn't really change too much every 0.6 seconds and if the timer is less than eight we get a point every time we click this little heart well all i want to do now let's kind of make a note we want to when the start timer finishes right when this repeat timer right here equals eight once it finally finishes we want to ask the user what their name is so let's add a comment here ask user for name and then we also want to add score that seems pretty pretty simple pretty straightforward well let's do that well we can ask them for their name by asking hey what's your name and look scratch has already got it let's just make sure that works okay eight seconds all right and what's your name mr hernandez there we go all right but of course nothing happened right so what we need to do is we're gonna go over here to my blocks. We're gonna make a block and we're just gonna be making a red block. We're gonna make a procedure here or a function and we're gonna name this add score and we're gonna add an input. And the input is going to be the name that they put in here. So I'm gonna just throw this over here to the right and I'm going to call it here and whatever the answer is to the question, what's your name? I'm going to pass in that is going to be my argument for the function add score. So you can see over here off to the right, I have add score and you know, I can drag over what was passed into it, however much I need to use it for. Now, as I do this, there are a lot of things that we need to do for this. So I want to make a no, I'm going to make a comment for all the things I need to do in this add score. So first thing is I need to take the name. All right. So we get it. We pass it in. All right. And then we are going to check where the score goes in a list. Okay, uh, so we need a list. I'm gonna put this here, need a list. Okay, because obviously we're gonna keep a leaderboard in a list. We're gonna add the name with score into the list, all right? And we are going to show the high scores when we're done. And what we're going to do is we're going to only make sure that we only have the top five. So it's going to be like really fight to the death. You know, who's going to be the top five on our leaderboard, kind of like old MySpace. You know, you only had your top eight and everyone had to fight for to be your best friend. Um, so only uh, top five allowed. All right. So I, I need a list. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to variables. I'm going to make a list and I'm going to call it high score let me kind of just like move this around and that looks pretty good so we need to take the name go through our list figure out where it goes in the list and put it in there all right seems pretty straightforward so here's what i'm what i need to do is i, I need to just go through my entire list and i all i need to do is just keep adding things to the list until it reaches five 
Once it reaches five, I need to iterate through the list. If a score is higher than one of the scores in the list, I need to put it above it. Or if they're equal to, I'll put it below it. I'm pretty sure the code will kind of handle it self there. So we're going to repeat until the score is greater than one of the scores in the list. Now there is a small problem here because this high score list is gonna show the name and the score. So it's gonna be really hard to kind of read. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a list. I'm gonna call it high score helper. All right. Um, and this is going to help me create the scores. Basically, this is only gonna hold the scores, whereas my high score, the one that's gonna show at the end of our game, is going to actually have the name with the score on there for the top five again. Okay. So I'm gonna come over here real quick because I'm already thinking that when the game starts, we need to hide the high score list. I think that's the only thing we need to change there. So now let's actually go through here. As I'm also thinking about it, we need to capture the space where we're going to be adding in our high score. So I'm gonna make a variable and you could name this counter. Your teachers might do it differently. A very common counter variable is I, C, N, J. I think in my case, I'm gonna call it a count I'm gonna call it a score position. Okay, I don't really care to see it right now unless we'll, we'll look at it, you know, I'll show it if there's an error and I need to take a look at it. But we're gonna be adding the score here. So as I get into this, I'm gonna set the score position to one. Remember, lists in Scratch always start at one. If this were something like in Python or Java, we would start it with index zero. And now we're gonna do a repeat until grab that put it in there and as I said we're gonna repeat until I are until the score position that we have is going to be greater than the list item that's in there we do need to break out of this though so we also need to check it to see the score position what we'll do is uh, while we're in the score position uh, in this repeat until we're going to change the score position by one, because it's gonna keep increasing. And then if it hits six, or if it's greater than one of the items in the list, then we're gonna break out of our, our loop, and that is gonna be the value that we're going to put in to uh, the new high score list. And I said that's gonna be an or, right? Because there are two things, either the score is greater than one of the items in the list, or it's not greater than one of the items in the list, and it's beyond the list. It's gonna hit position six in the list. So we're gonna say uh, score is a global variable. So um, we'll do greater than. So if score, if the score that they get here is greater than one of the items in the list, item number, not item number, item one of score this so it's going to go item one it's going to check it if it is greater than this is it greater than item two is it greater than item three four five and this is going to be in the helper list because remember this one is only going to hold the scores so what we're going to do is repeat until score greater than item one of high score helper we're going to go item score position because that's the one that is going to always be changing or we're going to check to see if the score position is equal to six so let me grab the equal to because this means it's at the end of the list so if it's equal to the end of the list and check to see if it is equal to list let me just duplicate that drop it right in there okay so basically again check to see if this score that the person got is greater than one of the items in the high score list add them on to that position. Otherwise, we're not gonna add them on. So then what we need to do now is, if this is six, we're not gonna put this in. So we need to check to see if it's not six, so we can put it in. So we're gonna grab the if and the operator not, and we're gonna check to see equals to. So if the score position is not equal to six, then we're going to insert the position or insert the new score with their name that we pass into our procedure. We're gonna put it into the high score 
list. First thing we need to do is put it into the helper or else we'll never be able to compare anything here. So we're gonna insert our score. So we're gonna insert something at a position. So we're gonna insert the score at the score position. And so you can see that it gets added into there, but we need to put it into the high score helper. So now it's 10 and 10. I'm gonna delete those in a second, but then I also need to insert, we're gonna need the score and the score position at, uh, just in a second. But when we do this, we're gonna do a join because we're gonna put in the name of the person. We're gonna need two joins. Uh, so now we can grab the name. We're gonna put in whatever name that they put in and we're gonna put in like something to show. So like space dash space and then their score. So it's gonna look up their name dash score. Kind of something like you see in an old video game. Now, as we insert things, the list can actually grow beyond five because we, we insert something there and it, you can see like, okay, we're gonna keep inserting, insert. You can see that the list is growing beyond five. All right, uh, and we also need to make sure that this goes into high score, whoops. There we go. Because I was like, why is there two things? Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, there's no name passed in here, that's why. But now we'll be able to delete item six. I'm gonna need to pull those in a second. We're gonna delete item six in our list. So if it grows beyond five and we have a sixth item in our list, we need to delete that item, right? Only top five are on our leaderboard. So sorry, number six, you've been knocked out, right? You wanna keep your name on there, you keep it a challenge. So we're gonna delete six of the high scores and we're gonna delete six of the high score helper, okay? And then all the way at the end of that, let's show the high scores, okay? Because remember, it's hidden, right? We hit it over here so that nobody can see it. But after the game is done, um, we'll be able to see who's in the high score. So let's delete everything here and delete everything here. All right. And let's check to see if this works. Let me actually hide the high score helper before we do that. And the high score list, okay. So let's play our game, boop, boop, boop. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's kind of just let the time run out. All right, what's your name? Mr. Hernandez. All right, so Mr. Hernandez is on our high score with the score of eight. So let's play it again. Let's do a score that's less than eight, okay? Okay, uh, oh no, that that is tiny. Oh, I'm, I'm really trying here. All right, three. Uh, so what's your name? Mr. Hernandez two, number two. And you can see that Mr. Hernandez number two, uh, there it is full screen. Mr. Hernandez number two only has a score of three. So as, as people are coming and playing our game, you can see that, all right, no matter what they're always going to have, uh, it's always gonna populate. Let's make sure it populates all the way to five. So let's see if we can get a score Bigger than eight. Oh, let me go. 12, 13, 14, 15. What's your name? So this is going to be Mr. Hernandez number three. And with the score of 19, uh, right. And Mr. Hernandez number three got the best score so far. So he should be at the top of the leaderboard. All right, let's add in a couple more. What's your name? So 12, that's gonna be, should be number two, I think. So Mr. Hernandez number four. Okay, Mr. Hernandez number four in second place. This is working out very well. Let's code this one. And the, out. the positioning seems to be working out pretty good. So this is Mr. Hernandez uh, number four, I think. Oh yeah, number four. Um, you can see that it fell in between um, eight and three. So now let's see if we do something that's less than three. So I'm just gonna run the game. Maybe I'll get one point and we're gonna just let this run out because this person's name should not show up in our leaderboard. Don't show. That's gonna be the name I put in. And look, it only stays top five. So now let's score uh, something higher than three, push out Mr. Hernandez number two, push him down to number six, delete it, and uh, again, push somebody out of the leaderboard. Let's see how that goes. All right, and so score five, let's let the time run out. 
What's her name? And we'll do, uh, I, I lost count, Mr. Hernandez. I don't think I've used seven yet. So Mr. Hernandez number seven has pushed out Mr. Hernandez number two or one. I don't remember what it was, but um, the score three is now pushed out and this is the leaderboard that we have. So hopefully this will be something that you guys can implement in your games. Very simple piece of code where uh, it's actually using a function to add in the names. Something that you can pass in is gonna change the procedures and is something where you can become very competitive with you and your friends. So thank you all for watching this video. Of course, if this was beneficial to you, please don't hesitate to like, subscribe to my channel. We do lots of different videos, whether it's going to esports or scratch or mathematics, we've got everything here. If you just wanna learn about the life of a teacher, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm Mr. Hernandez, and this is Mr. Hernandez Teaches.